today's Money Makeup Lesson is part two of our eye shape series. In this video, we're going to be focusing on eyeshadow placement theory for your eye space. Now, before we get into that, if you are new to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. In our previous video, we talked about finding your eye spacing and figuring out which of the three categories you fit into, average, close, or wide set. And this refers to the distance between the eyes. The so-called average spacing between two eyes is the width of one eye length apart. If it's less than one eye length apart, it's considered close set. If it's more than one eye length apart, it's considered wide set. So we took the measurement of one eye using our thumb and index, and we placed that measurement in the middle of the eye to see where it landed. If you found you were poking yourself in the eye, the chances are you have close set, meaning that your eyes are set closer together. If you found that you had room on either side, the chances are that you have wide set eyes. And if it fits quite snugly in the middle, then the chances are you have an average eye spacing. Now, just because something is referred to as average doesn't mean it's the most ideal or the best or the most beautiful. All of these eye shapes are beautiful in their own way. Average should really just be used as a base point to work from. So let's use an average spacing as a base point and talk about the eyeshadow placement. So whenever I'm creating a basic look, I like to keep my eyeshadows in between these two points. I just find this is the most complementary shaping. But how do you find these two points? Well, the first line is where the eyeshadow stops on the outer edge. And I use the edge of my nose, eye, and brow to create an angle, and I blend my eyeshadows in from this point. But then how far do you actually blend the eyeshadows in? Well, I use the inner tear duct and create a parallel line. Keeping the eyeshadows between these two points is going to create a nice basic look. As you can see here, the eyeshadows are in between these two imaginary lines. They're following the angle and the shape to better complement the eye shape. So let's use this theory and adjust it for close set eyes. Close set eyes are set closer to the nose and this often creates a natural shadowing effect on that inner corner. So what we want to do is to draw the eyes outwards bringing that darkness out and bringing some light back in. So our placement lines are gonna go from this to this, which changes the angle and pulls the eyes apart. So instead of using the edge of the nose, eye and brow, we're going to change this and use the dimple of the nose instead. And this then changes the angle. For the inner edge, we do pretty much the same as the average. We follow with a parallel line using the inner corner. That leaves us with these two lines. So all the eyeshadows are blending outwards, pulling the eyes apart, similar to what you would see on a foxy eye makeup look. Now wide set eyes have a lot of lightness on in the inner corner because they're typically further from the nose. So for this, we wanna create some natural shadowing on the inner corner, bringing the eyes closer together. Our placement lines are actually quite similar to the average, but we're just nudging them and keeping them quite tight. So it's still the edge of the nose, edge of the eye, and the edge of the brow, but it's just a little closer this time. And the inner corner is the same. It's slightly nudged a little bit over. This creates more of a vertical angle, which draws the eyes closer together and creates more depth on that inner edge. If we compare that to a close set eye, you can see the massive difference in the angle and the placement. Depending on how wide set the eyes are, you can also adjust the inner corner to work with the dimple of the nose going upwards. This will really bring the eyes closer together and camouflage any of that natural brightness, drawing the eyes closer. And that's our basic placement theory. You can also use your lashes, mascara, and brow shape to work with your eye space. And as we go through the series, I'll explain more on those. But don't forget to be creative. These are guides and not rules, so use them to better understand your makeup application, not control it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me understand what you like to watch. And if you have any questions, you can leave them here or you can message me on my Instagram, which is at Katie. I will try and get back to as many people as I can. Check back soon for more on this series or you can check the information box for the full playlist. As always, be kind to yourself, my friend, and I will see you in the next one.